All right, what we're going to do with this real quick lesson is look at how to put a rational exponent onto your TI-83 or 84 calculator. And uh, if you have the 84, it's a little bit easier than on the 83, but you can do either one. It's going to be almost the exact same keystrokes. So let's just start with that top guy, 9 to the 1 fifth power. I'm just going to go ahead and choose 9. <clears throat> and then hit the arrow key like you're going to put in an exponent. And then if you have an 83 or an 84, it's, it's good to have it. But go ahead and hit your parentheses button because that way then it knows everything about the follow needs to be grouped together. And then just put in one divided by 5. And what that does is it groups together that whole exponent. Now on the 83, it will look just a little bit different. Um, but the steps are the same. And the answers are going to be the same. When you hit enter, there's your answer right there. 1.55184. Um, yada, yada, yada. That's all it takes. That's all you've got to do. The other thing that you can do is um, you can put in, like this is the fifth root. 9 to the 1 fifth is the fifth root. So you can hit the 5 button for the root. And then go into your math key, and then right down there is choice number five with the x in front of the root. And when you've got that x in front of the root, what that means is whatever number is first goes in as the root. And so you can just hit the hit the enter key, and again, it'll be the fifth root of what? Nine. And these are going to be the exact same numbers. And that's one way that you can do fifth root or third root or uh, whatever root that's not a square root. If you've got a number like 12 to the 3 eighths, you've got to use the uh, exponent button. So just hit the caret key and then open up parentheses and then 3 divided by 8. That's it. You don't even need to close the parentheses. You can if you want it to look pretty. So there's that guy. Uh, he's not hard at all. Or 32 to the negative 3 fifths, same exact keystrokes. 32 to the parentheses. And then the negative sign is that one down there on the bottom by the decimal negative 3 divided by 5. And uh, and again, you don't have to close the parentheses if you don't want to. And there's your answer. So um, that's all there is to it. Don't let this be hard. It, it isn't. Um, and if, you know, just keep it simple. But learn these tricks now. You can use them on the ACT. You can use them on the PSAT for some of those questions so that it does come in handy.